decides to turn and face as Andrade now attacking with that arm and guillotine. Pacheco looking for a sweep here. Andrade really cranking that neck now. Pacheco taps. The tap. Jessica Andrade bounces Larissa Pacheco from the ranks of the unbeaten. Just constantly attack Pacheco. Never let her get back to her feet. And look at this strength. I mean, it's not typical that you see submissions from this position, but that's the kind of strength that Andrade possesses there. Look at that. Right on the neck, crank. Beautiful submission from Andrade. Panay is just taking a beating yeah. here. And Andrade coming in fearless. Again, it's, uppercuts. This seems like a matter of time Man. here, Mike. Gonna wilt her. Looking for it right now. Herzog's body, body. taking a very close look at them. Man, what he great can, hands. He can stop this fight what any second now. Jason there. Herzog right there. Trying to finish it right here, right now. Stop the fight. Just stop the fight. Jessica Andrade wins her UFC strawweight debut. That was a Curitiba beatdown. Just like a little mad bulldog attacking Jessica Panay over and over again. And this is where she had all of her success, up against the cage. Just nasty shots to the head and to the body. And relentless, never slowed down, never varied her pace, just full bore the entire time all over here. And Jason Herzog gave Jessica Panay plenty of time to try to recover here, but uh, a very just stoppage. Huge, huge victory for Jessica yeah. Andrade. She finds herself again stuck on the bottom inside control with the very physically imposing Andrade. Grabs the guillotine, Damn, drops she down. Did it. Looking to finish right here, right now. 30 seconds on the clock. Andrade has a nasty guillotine, Mike, and that looks good. Calderwood trying to gut it out. She's tapping. That's it. Jessica Andrade by submission. That is a big win for Jessica Andrade. She's punching her, Calderwood tries to stand up. She grabs that arm in guillotine and drops down. Excellent technique here. She's got that neck in a precarious, look how she's got it cranked and look at Calderwood's face. I mean, there is no way out of this. She's got to tap. Beat red. She was very close to blacking out there and beautiful technique by Andrade. And keep with that jab. She's had some success sticking that jab out there and then, oh! You gotta look good to earn a title fight. Well, guess what she just did? Good. She looked real good. That one punch, I mean, sure. that just snapped the neck back. Sure. Like look at that, man. Yeah. But that's because Crazy. she's got her so scared. Carolina's out of close. She doesn't even see that thing at all. It's the ones you don't see that puts you out. She didn't see that right hand, man. But if from the work that Jessica did earlier in the fight, eyes are closed. She's just trying to Boom. throw something in defense and got lit up. Oh Crazy. my goodness. There, now she's working on the problem, which is the hands. She'll still oh, get the ball. Oh, oh, oh she, she slipped her right out her hand. No, you can't. Out. She's not through Jessica Andrade, the new UFC strawweight champion. Her head with that. Incredible. She switches her head to the outside and put her on her head. That is the one thing that counters a Kimura clearly, as we saw. I mean, she moved ahead to the high crotch here. Now you get hips in. Lift, 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 lift. Yeah. Guys, when I do this, they rotate all the way through. But Rose trying to hold up to the arm did, a lot, did not allow her to flip. If Rose would have let go of the arm, she would have got flipped through and landed on her back. But by holding on to the Kimura, she landed right on top of her head. Look at this, holding on to the arm. Look, fell on her neck. If she would have let go, she would have got rotated all the way through and landed on her back. But because the arm kept her in place, she landed right on her neck. Beautiful, beautiful job by Andrade.